stick with me and I'll teach you the truth about songwriting inspiration. Songwriting inspiration is supposed to be the magical key to writing songs. If you don't have inspiration, then you can't write. You're supposed to get this lightning bolt revelation and magical vision from your unconscious or God or the muses. And then you sit down and magically write a song. Wrong, wrong, wrong. This myth is a fairy tale that goes, once upon a time, they lived happily ever after. Watch the video all the way through. After I destroy the songwriting myth, you'll learn how to find all the songwriting inspiration you need anytime you want. Are you in? I'm Trevor Dimoff. I transform musicians into songwriters at epicsongwriting.com. Check the description for links to bonus material that I couldn't fit into this video. This songwriting inspiration myth causes all sorts of problems. You believe that you have to be inspired to start writing a song. You don't. You think that you have to write a song in under an hour. And if you can't, there must be something wrong with you. Also wrong. You believe that songwriting inspiration is a limited resource or that it only happens to special people. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Don't get me wrong, inspiration is important. It's exciting and fun, but you can't depend on it to last until you've finished the song. So you need something else to help it along. Now a professional songwriter knows how to take that inspiration to finish it because they have a songwriting process that works for them. But here's what happens to a beginner or developing songwriter most of the time, and it's probably happened to you. You run with the idea, you write a couple of lines or maybe even a full section, but then you get bogged down in details. The inspiration starts to evaporate and you feel stuck. That piece of a song sits in your notebook or on your hard drive and dies a slow, lonely death. Never to be finished. Never to be heard. If this happens to you, like this video and keep watching. The problem is that inspiration is partly emotional, and emotions are fluid. They're variable. You can't depend on emotions to remain stable long enough for you to finish the song. If you're trying to write purely on inspiration, then most of your songs are going to end up in the trash. If you're trying to climb a tree, you don't take a run and jump to the top. You climb the tree branch by branch. What you need is a songwriting process, a method you use to get from that first song idea to a story in the song, to a song section, to a finished song. Check the video description for links to a songwriting process so you don't have to figure it out on your own. The myth of songwriting inspiration breaks down because it skips all the important details of songwriting, the craft of songwriting, how you turn that idea into an actual song. It's not always instant like people want us to believe. In fact, for most of us, it's rarely instant. It takes time and effort and some mistakes and bad ideas that you toss out. And most importantly, it takes persistence. Remember how you learned to play guitar or piano? You practiced. Even when you didn't totally feel like it, you managed to get your instrument into your hands and you made some music. Sometimes it sucked and you hated it. And other times you made cool sounds and you walked away feeling better than when you sat down. If you didn't, you would have quit, right? You got better and gradually got to where you are now. Songwriting is exactly the same thing. You get yourself to write and some of what you write is crap and some of it's good. As you gradually improve, it gets better and your songs improve. It's called practice. Some people think that practice is a dirty word, but that's an amateur attitude shared by amateurs that never properly learned how to practice, or by people that don't want to have to practice. I practice, they practice, and you should practice too. Here's how to find songwriting inspiration whenever you want it. You write. Yes, sit yourself down and get to work writing, but there's a trick. The secret is, are you ready for it? Don't worry about how good your ideas are. Don't focus on the results, just write. Write phrases and fragments and bits and pieces. Describe what it looks like, tastes like, sounds like, smells like. What does it feel like? It's called brainstorming. Write ideas, but don't edit or judge your ideas while you're writing. It's stream of consciousness babbling on paper. Editing is for later. First, learn to get your thoughts out of your head so that you can play with them. Then edit them, play around, and build amazing songs with your ideas. If you're building with Lego, first you get all your bricks. 
Then you sort through and find the most interesting ones before starting to build your creation. Stop waiting around for some magical inspiration that will write songs for you. You'll wait a long time. Write first and find inspiration from writing. Check out this video to learn more about brainstorming or watch this video for five ideas for songwriting inspiration that always work.